So in this video, I'm going to explain the solution of this problem, which was recently asked in Corfu is around 890 rated for division 4. So first, let us understand the problem statement. So the name of the problem is 1D eraser. So what problem has said that we will be given a string which will be containing only W and white, which represent the color black and color uh, color white and color black. So what we have to do? We have to tell minimum number of operation to remove all the black cells. So how can we remove a black cell? So the, the question has also given us an integer key. And what does an integer key represent? The integer key represents that I can choose any substring of length k and turn all the white and turn all the black cell into white cell in that sub array of size k. So peaks k decay, this is the array of this is a sub array of size k. It is not a subsequence. Which means I have to turn all the all the blacks to white such that I can take only maximum length of sub array of size k only and we have to tell the minimum number of operation and when operation defined that when operation is defined as this only I can choose a sub array of length k and turn all the blacks into white in that and it is not a condition that I will turn my white to black only but if there is a black in that sub array then I can turn it to white but if it is white then it will remain only white so what is the minimum number of steps so now begin the problem solution so here you can see this is a sample test case I, I have taken so let for example let k is equal to 3 for this so first of all what I will do for the answer I will try to iterate it from the answer so here you can see I have what is the minimum what is the minimum answer for this I think the minimum answer would be 3 only so you can see first I will select this sub array then it will become white then I will select this sub array then it will become those then those these two become white then at last I will be I will select this sub array and this will also become white so this is the minimum possible answer so, so let me take a, another configuration like this so it is also black and here it is also black so now what is the minimum the minimum remains same but how how do I approach this problem so you can see if my if if I start greedily from the if I start iterating greedily from the first position, then what I can do? If I encounter a single black cell, if I encounter a single black cell, whether or not this will always be this will be always be converted into white cell. Which means I if I am ith position, I am making it sure that my all the cells before it are always converted into white. Which means if I am at this position, I will make sure that all the cells before it are white. So if I if I encounter a black here, now what will be my first step? My first step will be that I will choose a sub array of length k starting from this index till till iterating to kill to iterating till next. So you can see in my case three. So I will select sub array starting from this till next three. Now taking the next three. So you can see whether they are black or white, it does not matter at all because I have to choose this sub array at all. Which means it if if this if this sub array is containing more than one black or more than one white, then it will it, it is not my concern. If I have taken if I have taken this sub array, then make it any short that all the blacks are converted into white, or rather say all the whites or then or rather say if I am at this index, I will make it sure that this is this whole is converted into white. Which means if I encounter a black, I will simply jump my i to k plus one position. If, if I, for example in this case this is my black so I will take my iterator or i and put it here or which is suggesting that if it is black or if it is white it does not matter at all because I have took I have taken my sub array of size 3 now it is not my concern it is containing white or it is containing black I make it in sure that all the numbers I before this position are converted into white so I hope you have understood this logic so if here you can see I have got another black which means I will start from in, in this index and I will I will make all the black to white in this sub array range of size 3 so here you can see in this sub array range of size 3 I will simply make it all white so you can see if I am at this position I am, I am encountered and I have encountered a black then I simply jump from this position to this position because you can see whether this is black or white I does not care because if, if I am in this position I am making sure that all the previous numbers are converted into white cells 
so you can see it is now it is converted into white it is also converted into white and it, it has also been converted into white previously so now next I am at this position so I will simply check if my current position is black yes my current position is black then I will simply took my this array and, and make all this at white and I will simply jump to my last index and end my and, and, and my addition so if you can see I will let me take another example also to more clarify you so let me take this example it is here starting white black 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 white white and black or black so here you can see and you can see in this example my k is 4 so starting to start iterating from first and check this is black this is white yeah this is white so i did not add so i will simply take my attention so this is black so i will have to increase my number of operation to one so if i if i start if I start my k k subsequent k k sub k sub array from this position, now I will I will cover all the all the next four indexes. So if I am this position, I will I will never check this this position because I am making each of these all all are become white. So I simply jump to this position, or rather say this position. So my number of operation is one. So you, you can see this is white. So I will not make a uh, make a operation. So I will simply jump to next position. So here you can see this is the black I have encountered. So you can see now my number of so my rem now remaining elements are two only. So I, so I will make sure that I will make these two elements in my one operation and simply color it as black or color it as white or rather say convert my all the blacks to whites. So now I am at end of the by string or whichever array it is. So number of operation here it is two. So I have to understand the problem solution or intuition. So if I show you the code, you can see. First I am taking the input array and k and checking if my i position is b or rather say it is a of black color. Then I simply change my i to minimum of my n or i plus k. Or rather say I am jumping. For example, in this case I have encountered b. So I will skip all this inter iteration and simply jump to this position. I will never iterate in this sub array of size k. So I will simply jump or, or or if it is not a white then simply increase. Then I will simply count the number of operations which are counting it here and print it. So this is the whole problem condition. If you understand the problem, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Today I stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.